Welcome to the Treadstone 71 Beacon Series on Education and Intelligence. Uh, this week we're going to talk about intelligence as a team sport, in particular uh, about stakeholders. My name is Jeff Barden, the Chief Intelligence Officer for Treadstone 71. So when it comes to cyber threat intelligence teams, or whatever you call your team, a cyber intel or threat intel, uh, inside fusion group, whatever you're going to call them, uh, it, it really comes down to actually that uh, understanding that intelligence is a team sport. Uh, threat intelligence requires the participation of many different groups to be successful and sharing threat indicators rapidly and across a broad swath of organizations is an effective method uh, to reducing risks, risk to your organization. So analysis is a way of reducing the ambiguity of highly ambiguous situations and why we go through this effort and all this pain to come up with something hopefully that is actionable for your organization. We got to avoid as much as possible different cognitive traps that are present in intelligence analysis and use available information and evaluate it as much as possible to justify our conclusions as we deliver product to our stakeholders. Now, threat intelligence teams are really there to support the decision making of your stakeholders and their operations and their daily activities. We need to inform stakeholders of factual uh, developments through the dissemination of, of reports. Uh, we need to process and aggregate and uh, interpret facts, considering uh, uh, the extensive data and information that we've collected and uh, how that's going to be evaluated uh, based on events and trends that you can find within that data and information. You want to conduct research in response to um, your stakeholders. Uh, specific uh, intelligence team requests that uh, come from them need to be considered, prioritized, and uh, built into the system. And uh, consulting or collaborating with stakeholders to understand an issue more fully is definitely uh, going to give um, you a better footing with respect to what it is exactly um, the stakeholders need. Now when it comes to stakeholders role they play a much larger role than most people consider. They, they have to ensure that um, our support that we're giving them meets their needs. And that means effective communication between the stakeholder and the intelligence functions uh, has to be in place because this is going to improve intelligence support. Now, for the best possible assistance, your stakeholders need to know that they uh, should integrate the intelligence functions into their operational cycle and processes. It should be a line item on their, on their meetings, something they expect to get, and information that they uh, are looking for based on their requirements that they've given to the intelligence team. Early integration of the intelligence function into the stakeholder operations definitely helps deliver much better product and service more quickly. And you got to expect intelligence support to be a push and pull process. This means there's give and take, there's quid pro quo in this. You feed them information, they feed you information, and it's a cyclical, cyclical, cyclical event that uh, uh, needs to occur in a very much an iterative fashion. So, we need to uh, flag emerging issues as well as answer stakeholders' questions as they arise. And, and uh, the questions can be delivered and uh, answers to the questions can be delivered in various different formats, whether it's face-to-face, -face, uh, push in or pull into a site where they have to use their ID password log in, daily media highlights where you can push it to their, their phone or tablets, uh, whatever it is, paper, graphics, however they like it, you need to find out what it is. It's is the old adage of knowing your professor, get an A. If you understand your stakeholders' needs and how they uh, like to accept things and how often and what format, then uh, you'll actually uh, do much better. So they also need to state their questions uh, very specifically. And if they don't, you need to pull that out of them and ask specifically what it is that they need and want. So they got to specify uh, their current understanding of an issue or problem and they should specify exactly what it is that they need to know and when it is that they need to know it and within what context. Is this to make it a business decision or is it for a meeting at a specific time, place? They have to share what they know and this is a trust issue that you have to build into the process. They need to understand that uh, in order to be successful in this you have to have a tight relationship with them built on trust. So never erode that trust um, because uh, all it takes is uh, one issue and, and the trust is gone. So specify the fact or factors uh, that the stakeholders should that are influenced the timeline so that you know when to deliver. Stakeholders also should understand that over classification of data 
um, is what we do frequently and once it's classified it's very hard to declassify so try and classify the data properly by communicating to them what your classification levels are including your TLP if you lose it using the traffic light protocol give feedback um, on the utility of the intelligence functions to your intelligence team and stakeholder feedback really helps um, the intelligence functions to refine their approach and understand how to deliver you also, uh, stakeholders really need to um, uh, focus on integrating this, as I mentioned earlier, into the process and ensuring that uh, the intelligence function knows exactly what's coming down the road as well as uh, immediate present. Now, working with the stakeholders is something that uh, uh, you have to take heart and actually work very hard at. You need to apprise stakeholders of ongoing intelligence activities that might intersect with their daily activities and by playing a supporting role in stakeholders' operations, which means you have to know what those operations are in order to play that role. you got to harvest information with intelligence value that stakeholders collect during their normal daily activities. You need to support their ongoing activities. Again, this presumes you know what those daily activities are. You got to try and plan for future collection, analysis, or other resources uh, being deployed by specifying and transmitting uh, stakeholders' requirements and priorities. And you uh, definitely have to evaluate the effectiveness of your intelligence team's support to the stakeholders uh, in order to improve service. If you don't know how well your service is going, then you're definitely going to end up uh, failing somewhere down the road. Uh, that uh, blind method just does not work and you want to make sure that your stakeholders fully know what you're talking about meaning you need to train them make them aware of the terminology the methods um, in intelligence as well as any special technologies you have as well as what you can and can't do they have to understand it uh, the day of where uh, you need to use their terminology is is gone it actually has to be shared they need to understand what intelligence is and what it is that you mean Again, uh, that doesn't mean use $10 words to try and impress them. Everything you're doing is try to inform them. But you have to work with them, and you must uh, actually educate them as much as possible. And to do that, you have to listen to what their needs are. So with that said, thank you very much again for attending the Treadstone 71 Beacon Series on Education and Intelligence. This week was Intelligence as a Team Sport, focusing on stakeholders. This is Jeff Barden, Chief Intel Officer for Treadstone 71. We'll see you next time.